Ever wondered why some people go bald while others don't? It's a question that has puzzled many of us. In fact, baldness is a phenomenon that has been a part of human life for centuries, affecting countless individuals across different cultures and societies. To understand more about this intriguing condition, we've sought the insights of various experts, from dermatologists to geneticists. So buckle up as we unravel the mysteries of baldness. As we dive into this topic, let's see what the experts have to say. Baldness can be a result of various factors. And it's not just about aging. This common condition can be attributed to several causes, each complex in its own right. Let's delve into some of these causes to better understand this phenomenon. Firstly, genetics play a pivotal role in baldness. It's not just a myth that if your father or grandfather lost their hair, you might too. According to geneticists, baldness can indeed run in families. The genes you inherit from your parents largely determine how, where and when you might experience hair loss. Next up, we have hormonal imbalances. Our bodies are a complex system of hormones, all working together in harmony. But when this harmony is disrupted, it can lead to various conditions, one of them being hair loss. Hormones such as dihydrotestosterone or DHT can shrink hair follicles, leading to thinning of hair and eventually baldness. Stress is another significant factor. In our fast-paced lives, stress is almost unavoidable. Chronic stress can disrupt the normal hair cycle, leading to hair loss. This type of hair loss is typically temporary, but can become permanent if the stress is ongoing. Moreover, certain medical conditions and medications can also cause hair loss. Conditions such as alopecia areata, where the immune system attacks hair follicles or scalp infections, can lead to baldness. Similarly, medications for cancer, arthritis, depression, among others, can have hair loss as a side effect. Lastly, lifestyle factors like poor nutrition and smoking can contribute to hair loss. A diet lacking in essential nutrients can lead to unhealthy hair, while smoking can reduce blood flow to the scalp, resulting in less hair growth. So, it's clear that both our genes and lifestyle can contribute to baldness. But is there any way to prevent or treat it? Well, just as there are various causes, there are also a multitude of solutions which we will explore in the next segment. Fortunately, medical science has made significant strides in treating baldness. It's not all gloom and doom if you find your hairline receding or thinning out. There are several treatments available that have shown promise in slowing down, stopping and even reversing hair loss. First on the list is minoxidil, a topical treatment that you apply directly to your scalp. Initially developed as a treatment for high blood pressure, minoxidil was found to have an interesting side effect, hair growth. Today, it's one of the most widely used treatments for hair loss. But what if you're looking for something more permanent? That's where hair transplants come in. A hair transplant surgeon explains, hair transplant surgery involves taking hair from a part of the scalp where it's still growing and transplanting it to the bald areas. With advancements in technology, we can now perform this procedure with great precision, providing natural looking results. Next up is platelet-rich plasma therapy, or PRP for short. In this treatment, a small amount of your blood is drawn, processed to separate the plasma, the component of the blood rich in growth factors, and then injected into the scalp. This stimulates hair growth by encouraging the rejuvenation of follicles. Lastly, there's laser therapy, this non-invasive treatment uses low-level lasers to stimulate hair growth. It's a good option for those who prefer a less invasive approach. As one patient shares, after trying various treatments, I found success with laser therapy. It not only slowed down my hair loss, but it also helped regrow some of the hair I'd lost. As you can see, there's no shortage of options when it comes to treating hair loss. But remember, everyone's situation is unique. What works for one person may not work for another. With so many treatment options available, it's important to consult with a qualified professional to determine the best course of action. As we've seen, baldness is a common condition that can be effectively managed with the right treatment. It's a journey that millions embark on, from understanding the root causes, be it stress-induced hormonal imbalances or hereditary factors, to exploring the myriad of solutions available today. The landscape of hair loss treatment is vast and varied with options ranging from topical applications to surgical procedures. We've heard from experts who've shed light on the efficacy of treatments like minoxidil, hair transplants, platelet-rich plasma therapy, and even laser therapy. 
One such individual who found success in his journey was John, who battled hair loss for years. After trying various treatments, he discovered laser therapy. Not only did it slow down his hair loss, but it also helped regrow some of the hair he'd lost. It's stories like John's that remind us of the hope that lies in scientific advancements. But remember, it's not a one-size-fits-all solution. What works for one might not work for another. It's essential to consult with a qualified professional to determine the best course of action for your individual needs. Remember, boldness doesn't define you. With the right information and professional help, you can find the solution that's right for you. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more informative content. Until next time, take care.